Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney has heaped praise on the St. Lucian public for what he deemed an incredible job in adhering to the COVID-19 protocols during a time traditionally known for island-wide celebration. Honorable Chastney says he knows it was extremely difficult for nationals not to enjoy Je ne Quayol on the weekend in the grand fashion of years past. Cancelling the cultural festivity, the Prime Minister noted, resulted in major revenue losses as well as dampened spirits due to restrictions that impeded socialization. Knowing that we didn't have carnival and this was really an opportunity for us to have gotten out. Um, it's sad that we found ourselves in this situation and I don't even want to add up how much money was lost this weekend and how many persons were looking forward to selling their goods, but more importantly, the, social, the socialization that was going to take place. But I really want to thank all St. Lucians um, for adhering to the protocols, not making it overly difficult for the policemen, and not putting unnecessary pressure on the authorities. St. Lucians were urged not to compromise their safety despite the temptation to gather and celebrate in this annual festival. The plea was particularly strong given that the island has recorded a total of 18 new cases in the span of one week. The new cases that we're getting, the good news is that most of these cases are already in quarantine. So it tells us that the contact tracing and that the team at the contact tracing have been doing an outstanding job uh, and we're ahead of it, if, if I can say that. Ahead in that, we understand um, who's been affected and putting the persons at the highest risk into a quarantine situation. Sadly, um, more than likely, numbers are going to continue to rise. So the fact that we have um, a hospital facility um, dedicated for the, as a respiratory center is good news. The fact that we have over 85 doctors and nurses from Cuba here to augment um, our doctors and nurses is good news. Prime Minister Chastney encouraged the St. Lucians to continue to wear their face masks, social distance, and sanitize their hands in order to stay safe from COVID-19. We can coexist. We, we can keep our doors open. We can be open for business. Um, we can make sure that people who'd lost their jobs, they can get their jobs back. And this idea that it's either health or economics is not a fair comparison anymore. We need both. Um, clearly, we're always going to uh, be more sensitive to the health side um, because we can't bring somebody's life back. But once we continue to do what we did this weekend, um, St. Lucia, we'll be fine. And I'm, I, 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 amongst, I'm sure, a lot of other people are very proud to see how St. Lucians acted this weekend and how strong they're taking um, the recommendations of the CMO. We've got a, a great CMO, we have a great Ministry of Health, the contact tracers, great frontliners um, all throughout St. Lucia, but more importantly, we've got great citizens, and we can win this battle together. We can, we can do this, and, and your government is fully behind you uh, to try to do everything that we can to ensure that we see a recovery to our economy and that we continue to keep people very safe in our country. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney.